All right, well, let's talk weather. So happy 4th of July, everyone. We're going to be looking at partly cloudy skies across the borderland. You could even see out in Las Cruces, partly cloudy. The winds are going to be pretty low. We're not going to be looking at too bad weather. I will say partly cloudy with a 20% chance of isolated thunderstorms and showers, but I think that might just go away. We don't see it in the nine hour forecast anymore. We did see it, so I think it's a blessing because we've been seeing lots of showers and thunderstorms this past week at night, especially, but partly cloudy. Triple digits is what we're forecasting 105 at 4 p.m. We're going to be looking into those low 90s around 9 p.m. during, you know, the uh, fireworks show. At the International Airport, we're looking at 95 degrees, 7 miles per hour winds, humidity 26, so it's looking pretty good. Our radar, you can see that there's no rain chances across. You can see just down here, more south and up north, but here in, uh, in El Paso, it's looking pretty good. We're going to be looking in Las Cruces, though, 92 degrees, 5 miles per hour east winds, 27% in humidity, so it's feeling already pretty warm, so just make sure to stay hydrated throughout the day if you're outdoors, especially with 4th of July celebrations. Right now in Rio Doso, 84 degrees, miles per hour east winds, humidity 18%. Across the borderland, we'll see those similar temperatures. You got Deming 91, Tier C 95, Cloudcroft 78, and Van Horn 96 with Guadalupe Pass just at 85. Far east, we're looking at Fabens 93, Horizon City 92, Fort Hancock 94, Las Cruces 92, like I said, Anthony as well, and Canotillo 93 degrees. So we're going to be looking into those low 90s as of right now, but for your high say, we are expected to see 105 degrees with partly cloudy skies. We'll see a chance of isolated uh, storms out there and showers. Van Horn at 98 degrees as well with Guadalupe Pass at 97. But overall, we'll be looking into partly cloudy skies and hopefully we'll see mostly sunny throughout the day since some of us are wanting to celebrate 4th of July and get the grill out. Uh, forecast lows for tonight, we're going to be looking at isolated storms, 79 degrees in El Paso, Tier C 69, Rio Doso 58. So it's going to be pretty mild, pretty warm, I should say, with those partly cloudy skies. Tonight in El Paso, we're looking at 79 degrees, a 20% chance, slight chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. The winds will be 5 to 10 miles per hour southeast and we're going to see those winds pretty similar as well, but a little lower southeast winds, five miles per hour. The clearing at so start clearing up at midnight. But we are expected to see maybe some chances of showers and thunderstorms. Hopefully not, though. Car wash forecast, we're going to say Friday and Saturday hold off. We're looking at strong storms and isolated storms on Friday and Saturday. Sunday will be hot and dry with 105 degrees. Very hot, so just make sure to be in AC rooms if you can. And as well with drinking lots of water. It's going to be very, very hot out there. So keep that in mind. For your exclusive nine-day forecast, we're going to be looking into that low pressure system. Again, into those isolated storms you can see right there on Saturday. But strong Strong storms for Friday, hot and dry on Sunday, and then again a 20% chance possibly on Monday. But mostly sunny should come around in the upper 90s, and we'll look into isolated storms again by next week. Weather watchers, thank you so much to our audio guy, Gabriel Medrano. I love how you captured this beautiful picture, even though uh, you got a flat tire this morning. I'm so sorry for saying that out loud, but you got a beautiful picture, and I just want to thank you for that out there in West El Paso, out here right outside of UTEP. And if you'd like to go ahead and submit your photos wherever you are, go ahead and submit to news at ktsm.com and any of the platforms that you see here on your screen. But let's go ahead and see what the traffic flow is looking like. So if you're going to be heading out to Escarate Park, you're going to see that Delta, Alameda, Fonseca, it's going to be very busy out there. So I got a map pulled up for you guys right here. So if you're heading out here, traffic will only be allowed to turn left onto Fonseca at 8 p.m. Th there's going to be lots of traffic closures right there. Uh, traffic will not be allowed to turn into Fonseca from Delta after 8 p.m. You're going to see lots of traffic in this area. So just be very careful. The fireworks show does start at 920. So overall, everything's looking okay so far. So if you're heading out this way, north or southbound, or west or eastbound out here on Loop 375, you have no troubles as of right now. But keep in mind to give yourself extra time later in the afternoon. Carla.